and dandy. You know, I'm not impressed with all that. I let a white bitch from the suburbs be impressed with you little niggas' uh, gangster testimonies and shit. Uh, me, I don't give a damn. The way y'all be getting down, it remind me of certain hoes that I had. So, no, it's not impressive. Uh, what I will say is this, though, right? Eight sit up there, you understand me, and reacted to the shit. Watch what I tell you. Whenever you give acknowledgement to a, a, a motherfucker that's on some goofy shit or an enemy that's on some negative shit, hey, man, your acknowledgement going to lead to somebody else's encouragement. Now they're going to get into a uh, motherfucking con a, a continuity of displaying and conveying motherfucking stupidity because you gave acknowledgement to that shit. Okay? So MCA's acknowledgement to Faison led to all of this. You should have just let that shit blow over. He's not no, he's not, he's not popping. He's not like, who cares? Do you think the youth gives a fuck about what Faison Love is talking about? You should have just went on with your business. You know what I mean? Acknowledgement, whenever you acknowledge a hater, you give an empowerment to that hater. Just think about, you know what I mean, uh, 50 Cent, haters. Get Rich or Die Trying. We know that was a cold ass album from front to back. But what really made it the way that it made it is because of his beef with Ja Rule. If Ja Rule had never gave acknowledgement to 50, that wouldn't have gave empowerment, you know what I mean, to 50's platform. Your acknowledgement is going to lead to the empowerment of your enemy's platform. Stop acknowledging goofies. You know what I mean? Stop wasting God's time acknowledging motherfucking goofies. This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall not acknowledge a goofy within it. I shall sit up there and continue to go about my motherfucking business. Okay, moving on. Um, you know, as far as, you know, uh, MCA, he ended up reacting to the shit. You know, and at first, you know what I mean? Because uh, the nigga Faison was like, I can't see why, you know, MCA would give Dave East a pass. You know what I mean? The nigga is not a real crip. He not solid. He not authentic. You know what I mean? So why you give him that... Why you give him that Cali stamp? You know what I mean? He's an out-of-towner. You know what I mean? He's off-brand. So, of course, MCA got in his feelings, and he sit up there and reacted to the shit, right? Okay, so, bam, moving on. You know what I mean? Uh, Phase on Love and him, they sit up there uh, and talk in the inbox, I believe. And Phase on Love told, you know what I mean, MCA, you know, you a legend, and, you know what I mean, I still listen to music to drive by, you know what I mean, uh, you know, I, I still listen to your shit. Woo, 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 right? So, after he sit up there and tell him all of that shit out of nowhere, Faison come back, and he like, man, you know what I mean? Use a, uh, 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 use a snitch, man. You snitched on Nate Hill. Now, the fact that you gave this idiot this attention, look where it's led to. First of all, Faison Love, it was just two seconds ago, that Faison Love just took a picture with Alpo. So the fact that he's even speaking on snitching, what's wrong with snitching? You just took a picture with one. Uh -oh. You were just smiling all in the picture with one. You was looking like, you know how them white girls be looking when they seen a, 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 their first black dick for their very first time? Yeah, that's how you was looking. You know what I mean? You were starstruck. You know what I'm saying? You was in the presence of a fly-ass snitch. Named Alpo, because I ain't going to lie, Alpo was one of the flyest snitches that ever lived. You know, he was fly as a motherfucker, but it don't take away from him being a snitch. Alpo sat up there and did all of the shit that he did, but his credibility is no more. Why? Because Alpo sat up there and testified better than Sister Anderson at Church of God in Christ, first missionary up and downstairs around the back door, Messiah, uh, uh, Messiah, you know what I mean, Temple, Church of God in Christ Church on Wednesday night Bible study. He Damn. testified better than your grandmama at church service, nigga. And you sitting over there taking pictures with him. So you can't really, you know, speak on snitch.